Got an extension, huh? Yeah, I put it on. I had it, just didn't use it. trumpet but to tell you about the good news of Jesus Christ. He changed my life completely. I was in the gutter. I was a drug addict. I was nobody. But Jesus picked me up. He had mercy on me. And he wants to have mercy on you. He says, call upon the name of the Lord and you shall be saved. Tonight, if you're wondering what your future is all about, woo, I'm excited about Jesus too. Why don't you come and find out? Taste and see that the Lord is good. He's delicious. He's the best. He's the best friend you could ever have. Oh, you can have friends. You can have Muslim friends. You can have all contemporary answers. You can have theologies blue in the face. You can have all the, all the ways, the money. You can have it all. But you don't have nothing if you don't have Jesus Christ. And why is he important? Because there's going to come a day when you're going to be accountable. There's going to come a day when you're going to have to face the Grim Reaper. There's going to come a day when you're going to have to face God. And what's, what's your verdict going to be? Well, I'll tell you what. The Bible says we're all guilty. You're all guilty. I'm guilty. You're guilty. And why are we guilty? Because we sinned against God. We think we're smart. We want to do our own thing. We think we're wise in our own eyes. But let me tell you something. You know what's wise? Taking a look at Jesus Christ. He's the wise one. He's the one that knows all about your troubles. He's the one who knows about all your wonderings. He's the one that has all the answers for you. I don't have all the answers for you, but Jesus Christ has all the answers for you. And I promise you today, if you take a good look, if you take a taste, if you give Jesus Christ an honest, good look, that don't mean in one ear and out the other. Everybody's got that kind of look. I hear things in my ear and they go out the next year because I don't want to hear it. Well, if you don't want to hear about Jesus Christ, I feel sorry for you because he's the best friend I ever had. He made me, he bought me, he sought me, and he redeemed me. What does redemption mean? Redemption means bought back. That's right. You're looking for God? Take a look in the face of Jesus Christ. He is God. Why is he God? Because God gave him all power in heaven and in earth. So if you're looking for something new and improved, why don't you check out Jesus Christ? He can make you a new person. The Bible says he can make all things pass away. All those bad, troubling thoughts that you've ever had in your life can be answered in Jesus Christ. That's right. Very simple. It's a gift. It's a free gift for you. And all you got to do is take it. Oh, folks, put your hands out. I'm giving you a gift tonight. This may be your only chance. Who knows how much time they have? Who's going to live forever? I didn't see one hand go up. Anybody over here going to live forever? Dude, Jesus, crazy. I didn't think so. That's right. No one's going to live forever. So that leaves up a question. Actually, it gives you a dilemma. You're in a dilemma. You're going to die, and you don't know what's coming up. 
So I say this. Go to the fortune teller. Nah. Read your horoscope. Nah. But I would say this. Why don't you check out Jesus? He's beautiful. He's not only beautiful, he's everything I've ever looked for. Everything I've ever looked for. If you're looking for the answers to life, I say this, take a simple look at the life of Jesus Christ. It's a simple look. That means you gotta come like a child. Don't come with your ego. Don't come with your, but come with your problems. Because Jesus wants to take all your burdens away. But he says this, you gotta kneel at the cross. Because the only way to God is through the cross of Jesus Christ. You have been looking for God? You know who God is? I know who God is. He's in the person of Jesus Christ because he's revealed himself to me in a true and wonderful and glorious way. I have peace that passeth all understanding. In all his ways I'll acknowledge him and he directs my paths. There's many good things about Christ, but you know what's the best? Forgiveness. No other way offers forgiveness but through the blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. So folks, take a taste. Take a taste. Taste Jesus! Hey, when do you think you're gonna die? Tomorrow! You're gonna go to heaven or hell? No, I'm gonna kill myself because I thought you had to Where are you gonna go? That's gonna be a neat trip. That I want to see. Hey, what, there? Conspiracy theories, but I'm a big. There's a lot of conspiracies out there. There's a, there's a world that, that was the biggest conspirator in the world. They'll be throwing people in concentration camps. You what? Like, did you know that like every single, every single economic collapse, every single war since? Mm -hmm, I'm listening. Since, since uh, 1913, I believe, has been calculated and planned by, you know, the Illuminati. Yeah, Illuminati has There's a lot of satanic occult. Yeah, it's part of the Catholic Church. It's all the Jesuits for yeah. it. I know all about it. Right. But you know, I'm, I'm not here to preach. I'm here to preach the gospel. Yeah, I know yeah. about the Jesuits. Yeah, I'm just telling you. Oh, like, I know. You know There's concentration camps all over. They have ant traps going yeah, right in. I know yeah, these. Yeah, FEMA camps. Oh, they got right FEMA camps everywhere. Oh uh, yeah. yeah. And it was written in Revelation that they would that they would do this to the saints. Well, there were saints who would go undercover saying to, to bring them in. Um, I, I'm not sure how it's quoted, but yeah, I see it all over through Isaiah, the captivity and all. And a lot of times it was because of discipline issue. Here's a conspiracy for you. Jesus said that if he didn't come back, humanity would be destroyed. The only, Jesus is going to come back to save his creation. Yeah. That's exactly what Jesus said. I didn't say that. So it's going to get bad before it gets better. You gotta believe oh, it's that. Gonna get real bad. It's Absolutely, it's gonna get real bad, and that's what Jesus said. If I didn't come back, the whole my whole creation would be done. Oh man, did a pretty good job on himself. You'll find ways to they'll find ways to destroy each other. They're good at it. They're very creative. You know, but I mean, even though God, Jesus calls us to be creative for good. The, the um, Freemasons actually have um, the population control in their Ten Commandments, right. and they're trying to do it through abortions. Oh, I know. Yeah, and also they're they're trying to tell people, my wife, but we're about to have a baby. And they're trying to say, oh, the baby has Down syndrome, right? And it's something, I mean, I'm hearing this from a lot of people, and they're finding out it's not true. Because a lot of people will abort the baby. Yeah. But I know in my heart I wouldn't do that. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ, it changed my heart. But people actually abort the baby. So that, that counts toward homosexuality is being pushed. Because that population control, lesbianism and all that. I'm telling you, man. Yeah. They, they say that you should masturbate because it's good for your health. <laughs> I tell you, man. Everything's all... a lie that the, yeah. that the world tells you. That's right. There's not one word that comes out of Satan's mouth that has any truth yeah. at all in it. But not a drop. But he'll put a spin to it so it's catchy. Oh, it looks it, good. It sounds wow. good, but Good go-go girls, you know, they're all naked. You know, it looks good. You're going to get AIDS coming out, right? Greatest lie ever produced was the one that had 1%, well, 99% truth and 1% falsehood. That was the greatest lie ever told. All right, in the garden. 1% falsehood. Yeah, Taints well, the whole thing. Thing. It's like rat poison. 99% food and 1% rat poison. Isn't that something? And they do it through Hollywood. They do. Through, you ever see the Shrek movies? I don't want to let my kids watch them. But they had a um, wolf dressed up like a woman, a, a princess dressed, a man princess dressed like a princess. A man. It's, it's horrible. It's, 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 they think it's funny. Then it creeps in. People get used to it, immune to it. Now everybody's like, what's wrong with homosexuality? 20 yeah. years ago, you'd be like, they know what's wrong with it. Yeah. The new generation is saying it's okay.
Satan is using the new generation. But it, it even yes, said, he is. It, it, yeah. it even said in the Bible that uh, during the end times there would be scoffers. There would be scoffers. Jude 18. There would be scoffers right. in the last days. Yeah. Jude right. 18. Yes, and it is. They're going to laugh at us for it. Yeah, yeah we absolutely. Go. We're going to wait. Yeah. That's all right. you can right. do. You, you, you two, brother, want, stop by any time. Get out there and get busy for Jesus, man. <laughs> Jesus says you got to get out there and tell others. Amen. It's his command. It's not optional. <laughs>